Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and today I have a really awesome bag to show you. Now, this is one of the bags of the new 2014 lineup uh, that Voodoo Tactical is going to be showing off at SHOT Show, which is just around the corner. Now, this is the Voodoo Tactical SRTP, which stands for Short Range Tactical Pack. As you can see, it's got a very, um, you know, small profile compared to some of the other bags I have now. And now, now, in the spectrum of bags, you have you know, rucksacks and mollies, and you obviously have backpacks and, you know, small man man bags at the, uh, at the other end of the scale. So this one's kind of right in the middle, but more, I guess you could say, on the lighter side. And now the short-range tactical pack was really designed for hiking or for, you know, maybe a mission or two, or, you know, something you're going to use for a day or a day or two or so. But more just, you know, kind of just, just gives you just enough sustainment to get what you need to done that's going to allow you to carry you know, extra set of clothes, maybe boots, um, you know, hydrate yourself, give you some food, some a little bit of camping gear, uh, but just enough to keep you going for a short period of time and, you know, and for within a, a pretty respectable range uh, of operations. Um, going over some of the external features real quick. It's got a wishbone style frame. Might be a little hard to see from back there, but there is a little bit of a frame built in that kind of gives it support for the whole system, uh, as well as a, I guess you'd say, a suspended uh, kind of air mesh kind of trampoline sus suspension for your back. What that does, it's going to keep you nice and cool, so you're not resting right up against it. So it allows your body to breathe and stay nice and regulated. And, you know, I notice even when I do my long rucks with my molly, you know, it just it gets really hot because <laughs> your body's not breathing very well. Uh, but something like this is definitely going to help, especially when you're rucking. To be honest, I kind of wish I had something like this when I was climbing out Fuji, just because of the size, the form factor, and, you know, it's very comfortable to wear. Uh, as you can see, you have shoulder straps right here with multiple points of adjustment, both here and here. And, you know, your cinching strap to kind of, you know, make, uh, kind of, I guess, you the width uh, of the straps just right for when you're wearing it. Of course, you have your waist straps right here, and that's what's, what that's going to do is kind of help keep the weight off your back and more on your hips and just kind of lighten the load on certain parts of your body and help more distribute uh, weight evenly. Um, going over to the front side, as I rotate the back, and while we're here at the halfway point, you can actually see I have a hydration uh, source that's routed through, and there are ports on, on both sides that allow you to route stuff like this through. You can, of course, route other things through there, uh, through there as well. Going on the main portion now. One thing I kind of would have liked, one would have been nice to have a carry handle. I'm, I'm, I'm just used to it just because every bag I've been issued, and a lot of bags I use have them. I noticed this bag doesn't. It's not a huge cry, but just something I noticed that would would have been nice to include. Also, would have been also uh, really cool to have uh, is the Voodoo logo on this bag. Is the Voodoo logo looks really sick. Uh, I was kind of surprised it wasn't on this bag, but. Either way, I still think it's a great, uh, great. Uh, it has a great aesthetic too. It would also be nice to have some Velcro on here as well, uh, just because you know everyone's got tactical swag and you know everyone's trying to trying to rep something out there. So it would have been nice to put that on there. But you can also get you know a uh, a panel that you can molly on here. Now, it does have molly, of course, on both on the left and the right and on the top. So it does give you flexibility there. You know, if you want to put an Nalgene pouch or something like a soft taco pouch, you go ahead and slap that on the side. One of the key things to know is that this comes in three colors. It's going to be OD, Coyote Tan, which as you can see here, and I believe black. Uh, but definitely, uh, as the aesthetics goes, it's more and more on the simpler side, but the whole point is to kind of keep things simple and streamlined. So as you can see, we also have this uh, pouch right here that actually buckles. And what this I would typically use it for is like flashlights or Gerber's, just stuff you're going to need right away that I don't really worry about. Just yeah, having you know any pressure getting put up right up on it while the bag's getting tossed around. So you know just hard items like you know flashlights, Gerber's, things like that. Um, of course, when you flip this over, you have a much bigger pouch right here, and this is kind of cool because you know I don't really want to go dig into the bottom of my bag to get my food or my MRE or something. And it's a little bit of crushable, it's a little bit resistant. So just to give it how much space is in there, I have full size MRE specifically pork ribs, one of my favorites. Uh, just gives you an idea of how much space there is in there, and then I've got a couple other things, uh, a couple of MRE items in here as well. But definitely, you know, this is actually a really good place to like, so have food, snack, you know, pokey bait, whatever you want to call it. 
because it's readily available, it's on the external pack, so you're not digging to the bottom to get it, but obviously it's not something that's super fragile, it's going to get crushed while the bag's getting tossed around or while you're using it or hiking or anything like that. So, letting the flap go down, obviously that kind of clears this portion right here. Moving up to the top, you kind of, I guess you'd have what I would call like the admin pouch um, for here. Just because it's the holidays, I got my Blue Force gear stocking there. Pretty awesome. Um, I have my wallet in here, but or my badge holder. Uh, but it's a nice place to put administrative items in there that you need right away that you really don't want to open the bag to get to. Uh, but if you have something more valuable, you can always put it in there. But there's actually a pretty respectable amount of space here on the top pouch. Now, opening the main compartment, you have a uh, mesh pouch right here and like I said this is something you want to put your maybe your batteries or your memory cards or you know some stuff you really 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 want to keep dry or really want to keep expo uh, you know from being exposed out here or maybe your wallet too and unless it's you're not already have that in your pocket just when you're traveling or whatnot maybe some travel docs small travel documents main compartment this is where you're really gonna make your money because this is where you're gonna be keeping some of your short-term sustainment gear obviously uh, I just been to a range too so I have a couple mags in here um, surefire mag, just to give you an idea, so, and then I have a couple of uniforms in here as well. Ideally, I have two sets of uniforms in here, but maybe like one set, like a couple socks, a shirt, a couple other things, you know, you're in your more administrative, you know, healthcare or whatever items that you need, probably be in here as well, so I got a uniform top, and an AOR bottom as well. This is actually a combat set, so it's going to take a little more room. Um, and then, as you can see, I have my my hydration source in there so there's definitely a pocket in there that I can go ahead and put uh, my my calum back in there it's actually my issued one uh, I'm definitely going to be able to you know have this in there kind of separate from the main cargo and I got some cryptex stuff in here as well but that kind of gives you an idea of what you could use it for you know if, if you're hiking or if you're using this on a short range mission or going to the range stuff like that is definitely going to be a very um, flexible you know, for all those different uses. And if, hell, if you're doing airsoft for force on force, you can still use it for all those same things. A lot of different functionality. But what I like about it is the price. It's very affordable and it's, you know, it's it's flexible, it's simple, and, you know, it, it kind of forces you to think, you know, instead of bringing everything, what do you need? What do you need? And that's one of the reasons uh, the pack is, is a nice size. Like, I climbed my Mount Fuji with a bag that's way bigger than I should have brought. Something like this would have been. Uh, kept me more mindset focused on you know, packing more concisely just what I need and you know like I said it has a nice form factor to it so if you're making entry or you're, you're moving in at tight spaces it doesn't really stick outside the profile of your body you know and everything cinches down real nice and you know it's just a very nice overall package uh, with the bag so this is a voodoo tactical, voodoo tactical short range uh, tactical pack alright guys one thing I forgot to cover very important and uh, very, uh, I guess you'd say almost hidden. But down here at the bottom of the pack, there's a zipper compartment. Pop that open, and you have a essentially a rain cover. Now, what this is great for is, you know, traditionally in the unit, you'd have to use your poncho to, uh, sometimes you have to sacrifice to cover your bag. Of course, when you're walking, you can kind of use it to cover both, but it doesn't really give it everything full coverage. Uh, what this allows you to do, the bag has its own cover that will give it full coverage. You can use your poncho, whatever rain gear that you have, and use it for yourself. But this is really going to allow you to have a nice, tight, um, I guess you could say, seal around the bag in you know, adverse weather conditions. And it's really nice that they thought about this, and you have it nice, easy, easy and readily available. But a lot of times you're having to reach in the bottom of your bag to get your rain gear, or to get you know any kind of stuff that you need to protect your bag and protect your equipment. Uh, really awesome they thought about that and it's right there you know it's a nice spot so you really have to worry about getting crushed or anything because it's obviously it's collapsible uh, but if you need it you can get to it real quick and you can just protect your gear uh, while you're doing whatever you need to be doing a lot of different uses for it um, big thanks to the guys at Voodoo Tactical for sending out this bag for me to review um, and like I said you can use it for all kinds of different things it's a great bag I'm probably going to be using it a lot lot more we gonna go uh, probably go to Lake Tahoe or something and go hiking or something like that. But uh, make sure you guys check it out. It's gonna be at Shot Show this year, and it'll be in the 2014 catalog. This is a Voodoo Tactical Short Range Tactical Pack. So make sure you guys check it out. This is Spartan 117 GW. Thank you for watching.
I'm James C. Burns. I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.